All right, so this is just a quick video to show how you could create, um, if you had a situation like this where you had pegs and you wanted to create little rings that go around them uh, that are corresponding to the similar shape that's there, um, th this video is for you. So to start out, we're basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch on this top surface and we're gonna use the offset tool to create lines that are exactly the same shape as the pillars that are sticking up, except they're offset by a certain amount that we're gonna pick. So it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna make a new sketch. I'm gonna make it right on the top face of this, okay? And then I'm gonna dive right in here. I'm gonna grab what's called the offset tool. Uh, it's right here. You can also search for it, offset, enter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover around here until I can get these lines. So we'll get like that line, that line, and that line. We're going to have to do this twice to create the ring shape. We have to do like the inside of the ring and the outside of the ring. And I'm calling them rings even though it's shaped like a triangle. It's really more like a shape with a hole in the middle. So for the first one, let's just do a really small space. So I've already got those, the blue line is my new line. So I'm just gonna click anywhere off in space or something to sort of confirm that. And now it's gonna say, hey, how far did you want that offset again? I'm just gonna say one millimeter, enter, okay? And so that should be enough space for it to wiggle around on there. And then I'm gonna offset this one more time. This time, you know what? I'm gonna offset the existing line that I just used. So my offset tool is still on. If it turned off, I could turn it on again by clicking it. I'm gonna pick these three lines again. And now this time it thinks I probably want to offset it by one millimeter again. I'm going to actually do it this time. I'm going to drag it a little bit. I'm going to see what looks good. Let's see, 2.7 millimeters. That's pretty tiny. I made this whole thing pretty tiny. So that's kind of part of it. So probably we'd want to make it a little bigger. Let's make it like four and hope that these don't run into each other. And I'm just getting it about right. And then again, I'll click somewhere else, like off in space here. I just clicked off in space. Hello. There we go. And it asks me to confirm the number. So let's type four even, you know, and this is creating that shape. Okay. And in the end, I'm going to repeat this process for the other shapes, but for now, I'm just going to show this one example. So I'll click the check mark. Now I can extrude that outline that I just made. So I'll hover around until just the edges of the object I want light up. And we notice actually the tip is being chopped off here because it was intersecting with the edge of the object. On shape thought it was a separate area. So I'm gonna click, I just clicked right inside there also to fill in that part, make sure I have everything. And this is a little tall. Maybe you want it that tall, but I'm gonna make this about five millimeters tall, um, which again, this is all pretty tiny. And the last thing I wanna do is if we notice this part that's now extruding out is the same color as the base. I actually want this to be a new part. So I'm gonna click new, okay? And now you see it actually changes color to another, like a gray color. So when I click check mark, if I move my face out of the way here, now I have the base down in my parts area and I have that object as a completely separate part right there. So I'm gonna keep going and just do the rest of these if you wanna keep watching, but if not, that is totally fine. You do not have to keep watching. Uh, so let me do that now. If you understand this, go ahead. But so anyways, so let's try, let's try this octagon up here. Okay, I'm gonna go sketch. And then I'm going to make a sketch on the top face. I'm gonna pick the offset tool. I'm gonna select all eight of the edges here. Right there, 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 and there. And now I have my whole shape. I'll click off to the side, type one millimeter or whatever other distance you're doing. I'll use offset again to offset those edges to create the outside of the ring. And if you're lucky, sometimes you can click right through the object. And last time I think I did four for that. So we'll do four again, four. Yep, there we go. Click the check mark, go to the extrude option, make sure I hover so all of that shape is being picked. We'll do it five millimeters for the depth of that. There we go, boom. And then I wanna make sure I pick new so that this is actually creating a new object. All right, so that's how we made that. And now again, we see these parts are different down here. You can even rename these parts. If you right click and say rename, you could call this base, click off somewhere in space, right click, rename, we'll call this one, this was triangle, triangle, right click, we'll rename this one octagon. 
And you can just keep going like this, doing all the other shapes, and you will be all set. So I hope this helps.